Find insight, guidance, and answers. And answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Tuning in to Spirit for my caller, Chris. Hi, Laura. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Where are you calling from, Chris? Alpine, California, the hills of San Diego. Lovely. Chris, the first impressions I'm receiving are lots of angels around you. So to me, it means one of two things. First of all, is that you're calling them in and you believe them. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) I feel that also you're working with them and you're looking for some direction from them. That's true. Very true. Right. And so as you're caught up in the swirl of things, because I feel like there's so many things and options for you to go, and I feel like you're spinning in circles and not sure which is the right direction yet right now. But what they want to refer to me is I get the sense of somebody who is close to you. I don't know if this person's on the other side or was close, but I get a male who had trouble with alcohol, drugs, possibly smoker. I see him wearing a baseball cap, worked with his hands. Well, my former husband is overdoing alcohol and works with his hands. Right. But he hasn't smoked for many decades. So he's still here in the physical plane, right? Yes. And I feel like you laugh and running since. And I feel like there's been more than one home. Okay. And I feel like there's been a lot of fly in between, like just going with the wind. But wherever you go, there you are. And you can't outrun your past. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So I feel like right now is a time for transition. And when I see rainbows coming down upon somebody, I just see it as a transformation that's happening. And it's all about healing and discovering the peace within. And I see it also coming down through your hands. And in turn, you are going to do some healing in the past regarding, I feel like it's centered here in this previous relationship. Oh, okay. And I feel like the work hasn't really been done here. And as I say that, did you ever feel or was it him that felt responsible for a younger sibling? Or was it a younger child or a child felt responsible for a child? Well, we have a daughter together. You have a daughter together. Okay. Because it was either a sibling or a child that was younger and feeling very responsible. But I feel like once you take care of the healing from the past here, I feel like it's going to turn and transform into something that's really gold for you. And I feel like in giving service to other people. So you might be feel called on this path of doing some sort of healing work yourself. Well, I have done a lot of that in the past, you know, doing energy healing, teaching Qigong and so forth, a health coach. Well, you're going to continue on that path. Okay. But it's going to go up another notch. And for that to go up another notch, I feel like some of the work has to be done within. And I feel like whatever you learn from that past experience is going to be brought into some of the work that you're doing. And you might have already had these experiences where some, you know, women who have come to you and you've done the work on them and you can see the parallels from your life to their life. Do you know what I'm referencing? I do. Yes. Yeah, so there's something there underlying with it. So that's what I'm being conveyed, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't worry about, you know, when I say that you had a few homes since this relationship from your past, that I don't think your focus and concentration should be there as much as it should be right here, right with you. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. Because if I would move, I would feel that there was a lot left undone. And we've never resolved really why we separated and divorced and so forth. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Just moving somewhere else would just keep your mind busy. Do you see what I'm saying? And not deal with what's the primary issue of why you want to keep running. Well, but I'm not running from him or the past. I'm trying to get somewhere where I'm less affected by the EMFs that are just horribly affecting my health. Right. Yeah. Your health comes first and foremost, but I think some of the health issues are coming through from this space. Okay. I wish I had more time. Thank you for calling, Chris. Oh, I appreciate it so much. Yes. And by the way, I get Christina. (laughs) 
<laughs> that's my birth name. Okay, so that's just a confirmation to what I said. So thank you for sharing your time with me, Christina. All right. <laughs> and if you'd like to call into the show, sign up at Radio Medium Laura Lee. And thank you for subscribing, sharing our show. 